Darren Bechtel not only is an uh, Intel uh, analyst, uh, he also popped in as, as our, our watch chief. Um, anything that we threw at him, regardless if it was log logistics related, Intel related, he figured it out. And uh, I just think he needs, he needs to be recognized in front of everybody because that's not an easy task, especially somebody, somebody who is strictly in the Intel community to be able to understand all the functions of, of war products. So I just want him to be recognized for that. And then for Sarn Fox covering down it, coming down at S1 in the main, uh, a lot of stuff coming coming through as far as PCR that needs to be submitted up. It was just him and uh, Lance Fogle Flores, um, like a great NCO. He, tra he, he trained up his Lance Fogle really quickly, and uh, there was there was never an issue with the S1 uh, report for reporting procedures and, and all that. So I just wanted to recognize. All the hard work that he put in the name as well. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Good one. Right, we just want to recognize this Marine. Uh, leading up to uh, MWX, this guy has gotten all our systems up and running. Spent countless hours. Uh, running back and forth from the division, making sure we got proper downloads, making sure all our, our geoing systems are up, our CIWs, our server, uh, just, we, we wouldn't have been able to do as much stuff as we could have without this guy's support and him going out of his MOS and learning the what, what needs to happen with our systems and our, our laptops and our, our geoing programs and everything. Uh, so we just want to recognize him for all the hard work he's done. Uh, Cause I believe that we, yeah, we couldn't have gotten it, gotten it done. Uh, without him putting in those all those countless hours, staying after work, uh, and, and making sure all the systems are up and running. So, I want to say thank you. Thank you, Rob. Uh, <laughs> awesome. Okay, Rob. Good job. Good morning. Just to kind of uh, elucidate some stuff with the job, the dedication that it takes to run through all of the TTPs and battle drills that keeps the command safe while we send these guys out. Like, it's a lot of work to be good at. Um, and these guys were completely reliable that we knew that any mission that came from the command of like, hey, we need you to go resupply. We need you to go insert our state. We need you guys to go check up on a Humvee that we think is lost trying to find the clip. Like, all these different things. I probably gave these guys 18 different warnos of stuff that we were going to go do. And it was always met with, uh, good to go, sir. Like, we, we'll get it done. And so as like a commander, that's a huge thing for me because then I can confidently say that to Colonel Weiler of like, or Major Head to like, yes, we'll get it done. Um, the nature of the jump platoon is you kind of become the errand boys. And I don't say that to be derogatory. I say that to show that like there's a lot of, there's a lot of skill that goes into being able to just go out and keep a low signature to keep the command element safe while we take care of stuff that needs to get done. If you ran out of water on day two, then you have these guys to thank for actually getting more water to fill your camelbacks. We sent these guys probably out on three or four different resupply runs. So um, for the command element, like we think we all have the the skill and the professionalism, these gentlemen to thank for not getting found uh, in the hot forward. Um, and so I really can't thank you guys enough. But everything that I told you, it was uh, it was a uh, all right, sir. Like we got it, and uh, you guys are fire and forget. I'm able to just trust that you guys can take care of all the maintenance stuff. I can't tell you like Sapuente is like. Like every five minutes, we're driving along. I'm like, hey, is that good for a Humvee? Like, oh, is that good for a Nottum? You know, just pointing out routes to make sure they don't get stuck somewhere. And, and, you know, it took probably 10 minutes of driving around with these guys to build that trust, to be able to be like, all right, whatever he says, that that's what goes. If he says a Humvee can make it up that, I trust him. We'll send, we'll send the convoy up there. So you really have to be good at your job to build trust as quickly as we did. So thank you, both of you gentlemen. Uh, you guys are both incredibly reliable Marines. organization. Someone like uh, Corporal Abraham here is the spine and the backbone of that. Corporal Batterby is the voice, i.e. the radios, and Corporal Hollinger here 
is the connective tissue that makes one full body that is both metaphorically physically fit and mentally tough. I don't have anything else to, to pass on that for now because I'm not going to wax sentimental about these guys, but they are awesome and they're the reason why they're standing up here today. That's all I got for them. Good job, brother. Great job out there. Keep your people clean, right? <laughs> Good job, fellas. A lot of skill uh, to be, uh, be a forward air controller. And uh, he's been doing this, you know, for Fitch Marines uh, for uh, over two years. And uh, it's a hard job, right? It's a hard job uh, controlling air. It's a hard job planning for air. Plus all the other tasks that we give him when he's not uh, controlling air across the regiment. And he's getting ready to leave us. And if you think about everything that we've done in this regiment when it comes to uh, the fires, the creativity that we've uh, experienced in closing the kill chain as fast uh, as, we, as we have been when it comes to air, it's all because of his expertise, right? Uh, he is one of the most proficient facts that I've ever uh, worked with. And it's going to be really hard to replicate what you've done for 5th Marine Nugget. And uh, it's been a pleasure working with you for the last uh, two years. I'm really sad to see you go, but you're, you're one of the best. I'm really, really happy to finish on you. Let's give him one.